Hi guys, welcome to the video solution of the chemistry part of NEET 2020. And we are going to discuss the paper that is having code G5. Now let's move on to the question number first in chemistry that is question number 91. And the question is sucrose on hydrolysis gives. Now according to NCRT, it's given the hydrolysis of sucrose gives us alpha D glucose and beta D fructose. Now this question belongs to the chapter biomolecules and the topic is carbohydrates. So the final answer is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. So now in this question is asking elimination of two bromo pentane to form pen 2 in is now we have to check which one is correct is it beta elimination reaction or it follows zsef rule that it's sitzef rule also it is dehydrohalogenation or it is dehydration and four options are given to us and we have to find out the correct answer let's move on to the solution so the solution Now it's 2 bromopentane, so CS3, CH and this Br and CH2 and CH2 and CH3. Now this is 2 bromopentane and we are adding a base. So let us suppose that base is KOH in alcoholic medium. So this is alcoholic KOH which will act as a base and elimination reaction will take place and there are two products possible. First possible product if bromine goes out and hydrogen goes out from here this is the first product and second product is bromine from this carbon and hydrogen from this carbon. So we have to take care of both of them so first product is ch2 double bond ch ch2 ch2 and ch3 right and second one is ch3 ch double bond ch and ch2 and CS3. Now both are alkenes and we have to find out which alkene is more stable. So you can see this is the double bond and if you find number of hyperconjugative structures in this case three structures here possible and two structure there are possible. So total number of possible structures are five. Five hyperconjugative structures are possible in this case this is ZSF or SIDZF product and in this case this is the double bond and only two hyperconjugative structures are possible so this one will be the major product because it is more stable so if we look at the answers a is it beta elimination yes it is beta elimination it follows ZZF rule yes because the major product is according to ZZF rule it is dehydrohalogenation yes HBr is going out that's why it is dehydrohalogenation reaction is it dehydration no this is not dehydration so this A B and C are correct so our answer is option number four right let's move on to the next question so now in this question is asking the number of Faradays required to produce 20 gram of calcium from molten calcium chloride and four options are given to us and we have to find out the correct answer. Let's move on to the solution. This is straightforward question belongs to electrochemistry. Let us suppose we have Ca2 plus and it will reduce to calcium. And if we talk about one mole of calcium ions, so if we take one mole 
of calcium ion so we need two moles of electron and two moles of electron means it's two faraday right and one mole of calcium 2 plus means 40 gram so if we take 40 gram of ca2 plus then 40 gram of calcium will form right but in the question is asking number of faraday is required to produce 20 gram of calcium so we need 20 gram so 2 faraday corresponds to 40 gram of calcium right therefore 1 faraday will correspond to 20 gram of calcium so means it's 1 faraday is required the answer will be option number 4 right let's move on to the next question